Experiment five is machine gun pulse oscillator. This circuit demonstrates the basic workings of an oscillator, which is a circuit that turns itself on and off many times. Oscillators work in many different ways, but this one works by using capacitors which store and discharge electricity. This oscillator will produce a sound that might resemble that of a machine gun when it's turned on. Oscillators are used in many different applications. A simple oscillator might be found in the turn signal of a car or it is also found in radio waves. The rate at which a circuit turns itself on and off is measured in hertz. Now this oscillator, I'm going to turn it on now, this has a frequency of 1 to 12 hertz. 1 hertz and then you have 12 hertz about. A radio frequency signal oscillator is measured either in kilohertz, meaning a thousand hertz, or megahertz, or a million hertz. Radio transmitters have, are some of the fastest oscillators because their signal changes millions of times every second. That's extremely difficult for our minds to comprehend. Once again, the control knob is used to adjust the rate at which the oscillator turns on and off. Experiment six is electronic motorcycle. This circuit is another oscillator, and this one lets you pretend that you are racing on a motorcycle. We have two jumper wires with loose ends and the objective is to grab the each of the wires with the thumb and index finger of each hand. And depending on how tight and firm your grip is on the wires, the sound will change. Now, I have to hold my phone with one hand but if I was to like, let's say, put my fingers between the two wires, you will hear a sound coming from the speaker. And that can simulate the sound of a motorcycle engine. The better grip you have, then the faster and louder the sound will be. You could pretend that the motorcycle is idling or racing at full speed. Another thing that helps is by shining a light, a bright light, on the CDS cell. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference for me, however, but I can, I'll see what it does when I do so, and it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. If I was to touch the wires directly, it would be, the sound would be pretty high pitched. Now it sounds like a motorcycle going at full speed. But now I, I braked because the sound is getting quieter. You can pretend that you're steering, accelerating, or braking. Now, if you want, you can connect different capacitors, but it's important that you do not use anything over 10 UF because the transistor may get damaged. But I'm not going to do that right now. Experiment 7 is two-tone patrol car siren. This is another oscillator, but instead of being just one sound, there are two. Now, there's no on and off switch for the circuit, so I'm going to hook this wire up to 
terminal 137 on the key switch. And please turn down your volume because this is going to be loud. And now you will push the key switch and now the tone becomes higher pitched. And now push the switch and release it in a steady pattern relatively quickly. And now you will have a two-tone siren, which is common on emergency vehicles such as police cars or ambulances. Experiment 8 is electronic siren. Unlike the two-tone police car siren in the previous project, this siren has a wind-up, has a fade-in, and a fade-out. You would press and hold down the key, and the siren will wind up, and then when you let go of the key, it will wind down. And you can make many different modifications to this circuit. And what I am going to do is first, I am going to connect the, disconnect the 10 microfarad capacitor and connect the 100 microfarad one. Now the start up and wind down will be much longer because this particular capacitor takes longer to charge and discharge. Now this might sound more like a firehouse siren or a tornado siren because those sirens usually have longer wind downs at least. The wind up may still be pretty fast but the wind down can be slower. Now I'm going to connect the 470 microfarad capacitor. Now, the startup and wind down are both slower. I'm not going to wait for the siren to wind down completely, but you could disconnect the capacitors all together and then you just have the steady sound no wind up or wind down experiment nine is electronic metronome this oscillator circuit can be used as a metronome which is a device that musicians use to keep time when practicing or playing an instrument we will hold down the press switch and the speaker sounds in steady intervals just like other oscillators that I have demonstrated. Then when you turn the control knob the rate at which the speaker sounds increases. And this is the highest setting for the metronome. If you want, you can change resistors. You can change the 4.7K ohm resistor to the 10K one. Lastly, we can do the 470K ohm resistor. And even on the highest setting, the rate at which the speaker sounds is incredibly slow. Lastly, you could change the capacitor too and see if that has a difference on the rate at which the metronome sounds. And even on the highest setting, once again, 
the rate at which the speaker sounds is very slow. So, can't imagine how much slower it would be on the lowest setting. 